Greetings. This is a volcano and earthquake watch for the 24th through to the 28th of July, 2012. With solar activities expected to remain quiet for this coming week, we do have the rapid emergence of a very large coronal hole formation in the Northern Hemisphere, which represents a potential of a 7.4 magnitude earthquake for this watch. We're now looking at an animated view of the large coronal hole formations on the solar corona using the solar terrestrial activity report where we see two regions of note for this watch. An unnumbered coronal hole in the northern hemisphere represent a potential of a 7 or greater magnitude earthquake for the initial part of this watch, July 24 through to July 27. We also have another coronal hole formation which is just rotating the disc and this is already numbered to CH525 and this represents a potential of a very large earthquake as well towards the end of this watch and this ties in well with the planetary alignment of Earth, Sun and Mercury. We're now looking at the SDO composite moving imagery where we see this strong coronal hole formation is changing shape quite drastically and I feel this is the main indicator of a strong earthquake potential felt here on Earth based on this rapid rate of change and movement. We're now looking at the latest solar wind telemetry from ACE where we see currently solar winds are fluctuating from 430 to 470 kilometres a second. This is due to a high speed solar wind stream coming from a coronal hole formation in the southern hemisphere which is rotating through the earth facing position and that's CH524. Now its influences should wane over the next 24 to 36 hours and we should see a drop in solar winds to around 350 kilometres a second. We're now looking at the latest VSL animated forecast map and from these images we get to see this coronal hole formation will begin to be in an earth facing position or geo effective sometime on July 24 into July 27. We're now looking at a series of solar images of this large coronal hole formation in the northern hemisphere and all of these images do show a striking feature on the solar corona which I feel may harbour the potential of a very strong earthquake possibly around 7 magnitude for this watch. After further analysis I have isolated a zone from 43 to 49 degrees north latitude as a main area of focus from this large coronal hole formation. Now with solar symmetry to the earth I'll now plot and map some regions I feel will be most at risk for this potential 7.4 magnitude earthquake felt here on earth. My number one area of concern for this watch are for the regions of off the coast of Oregon, Vancouver Islands, Canada region, or Washington's Puget Sound region. And my second area of concern is for the Kuril Islands. Now this region has been extremely busy over the last few weeks with strong earthquake swarms. So there may be a much larger earthquake coming for the region. Europe is my second area of concern for this watch. More specifically the regions of Italy or Romania. And my final area of concern are for the region southwestern Siberia in Russia or east Kazakhstan. We're now looking at the southern hemisphere of the solar corona using the SDO composite moving imagery where we see a strong coronal hole formation which is just rotating through the earth facing position. CH524 has already produced one strong earthquake, a 5.8 magnitude in the Vanuatu region yesterday. So there may be another in around the same latitude zone over the next 24 hours. Now it is worth noting that we do have a significant planetary alignment between Earth, Mercury and Sun which begins on July 28 into July 29 and this usually produces very large earthquakes felt here on Earth. I will leave a link in the description box and also as a video response to a video I created regarding this alignment for anyone who's interested and this ties in perfectly with the large coronal hole formation CH525 just turning the eastern limb. And that's my volcano and earthquake watch for the 22nd of July 2012. For more information, please visit my website at solarwatcher.net where we'll be providing more content for members and subscribers. Results of this watch will be annotated during and at the end of this video. Thanks for watching.